Hello, in today's video we're going to see how to build different gouges on your next Xeon display, smart display, HMI display. We're going to see how we can build it. This is the display. Let's zoom out. I use an Arduino Uno and a simple encoder. And as you can see, the needle on the gouges moves according to the rotation on the encoder. It's a very simple creation. It's very useful. You can also display the numerical value or any other text or information that you want on the display. And on the following video, I'm going to do uh, buttons on the display. In this tutorial, I'm not using any libraries at all. Now let's review how we make the graphical interface. At the first stage, we of course we are going to need some gouges. What are we going to seek for? We are going to go to Google Image Search and look for the word gouge. The best images are the ones that are without the needle, like this for example. Simply look for gouges or uh, speed meters or something like that. This is also great, no needle in it. This one, but it's the same as this, I think. Oh, you can create your own in Photoshop or whatever. On the next stage, we are simply going to create a blank image using whatever photo editing or picture editing software that you have. I use the MS Paint that comes with Windows. I created a 400 by 240 image. That's my, the resolution of my screen. As you can see, here are the gorgeous images that I saved and I simply place them on this image. Save the image that you created in JPEG or whatever conventional uh, image type that you are using. And in the next step we are going to run the ITED uh, ID. This is the next gen editor. As you can see, I simply added the image that I created in the previous stage. And now we're going to add the components on it. We're going to choose add component and we're going to choose a gouge. Make four of them or as many as the gouge that you have in your image and make sure that they are at the correct size. We can manage the sizes over here. and simply move them around. Simply make a small box which sits inside your picture. You can also pick the needle size and you can also pick the needle color. You can see I got different colors. One more important thing, because we want the needle to sit above a picture, we are going to choose crop image in the STA value. We can either pick a solid color or a crop image. We are going to pick a crop image and we are going to pick the picture that we are using. Now let's see it in action. We can compile it. 
run it on the simulator and as you can see the needles are in place now let's go over the Arduino code by the way don't forget to upload this graphical interface to a Nexium device you can either upload it directly if it is connected to the USB the USB to TTL adapter or you can simply save the file which it sits over here open a build folder after you compiled it put it on your SD card and insert it to the SD slot on your Nexium display now the Arduino part Now let's go over the Arduino part. This is simply the code for the encoder. Let's skip it. This is the important part. As you know, you connected the Nexion display to the RX and TX to the serial connections on your Arduino board. You communicate with the display using serial commands. First of all, we are going to declare that we sent the component Z0 a value. This is the value that we are sending it. And afterwards, we have to send three times this number. We are going to later see why. Next, we are going to alter the second gouge, the third one, and the fourth one. This is the, the three, but I started with Z0. How do we know the names? Very simple, very obvious. Let's return to the Nexium display. Here you can see we got the names. This is Z0, Z2, Z1, Z3. You can change the names if you wish to. These are the default uh, names. Let's go back to the Arduino IDE. We are simply sending a value to the specified component and the displays knows how to update it quite simple now let's see the next gen commands that we can send and how to alter and change values 